Carolyn Doobie here. What's the play for today? Uh, today I'm using alcohol inks and art foamy stamps on my gel press plate. And I'm also sharing with you something that I really don't like to do, but in case you want to do it, you'll know how to do it. And if you've seen many of my videos, you might know what that's going to be. Anyway, let's dive in and start playing around with that plate. We're going to start by putting a generous amount of alcohol ink on the plate. And you might think, wow, that's a lot. Yes, it purposely is. I want plenty on there because I'm going to put the art foamy in there. And yes, I'm going to make a pattern here. I'm going to get a print out of this, but this is one of those sort of bonus prints. What I'm really trying to do is get some of that color into the art foamy stamp. I want it absorbed in there a little bit because that's how we're actually going to get a two color print on the next one. This one is basically loading up that art foamy. Now, one of the reasons why I adore using that gel press plate is because nothing has to be wasted. Even though this is loading up the color on the art foamy, I'm still going to get a great print out of it. If you've worked with alcohol inks before, you know how quickly they dry. I mean, after all, the alcohol evaporates, things dry. So that means you can real quickly get a layer of paint on top of it. And this thin layer of white paint, this is what's going to lift up all of that pattern that was just made on there. The paper that I'm using is the one that I enjoy using. I like a 90 pound cardstock. That is absolutely personal preference. You can use whatever papers you enjoy. Perhaps you like copy paper or old scrapbook paper or book text, whatever you've got that you like using, you absolutely can use to take a print. The only kind of paper I stay away from is any kind that has a coating on it. But other than that, I'll put just about any paper on here. Now you've seen this print made, so you know how it was made. But if somebody looks at this after the fact, they don't know what I use to make it, they really kind of wonder how'd I do it. And I love prints that have that look. But that was just one color. Let's add another color to this. I'm gonna start out by putting a bunch of yellow alcohol ink here on the plate. And the inks that I'm using, by the way, these are Copic marker refills. And you'll notice as I'm spreading that yellow around, it's going all over the place. I've got plenty there. I'm not being shy because I don't want it to dry super, super quickly. Cause I gotta get that art foamy stamp on there to transfer some of that peacock feather. Now, hang on, I've just said how fast alcohol ink dries. So how is it still wet on that stamp? I mean, that's had plenty of time to dry. Well, actually what's happening is the yellow ink is kind of waking up the ink that's on the art foamy. And so as that blue goes on there with the yellow, it starts to take on more of a green look. And that's the thing about alcohol ink. It definitely wakes up other alcohol ink. And that's why it's such a big deal for the yellow to have been generous, to have plenty of it on there. So it was still even just a little bit damp to grab that color off of the stamp. And so now this stuff is pretty much almost dry. It doesn't take long for it to do that. And so now I can bring in the white paint to lift this print. Now you might've noticed I've got two brayers that I'm using here. The brayer that I used on the blue if I had used it to spread the yellow around, just doing that would have grabbed and woken up the ink that was on that brayer. So that's why for this, if I'm going to do two colors like this, I like to have two brayers, not necessarily because you have to, but because I don't want to clean it in between. If you've got one brayer, then take some alcohol, clean off the alcohol ink before you go into the next color if you want to keep it crisp and pure. One of the things I adore about using the gel press plate is how you get these little bits of serendipity, things that happen. So I've got some little areas of white here and there. If I'd probably given the paper another 20, 30 seconds on there, I might not have had those, but I love it when I get them. I love having that little bit of grungy randomness added here and there. So now you see it with two colors, but what if we bring in a third color? And for this one, I'm going to do a purple. This is going to be a combination of the first two techniques that you've seen. So I'm going to start out with a generous amount of purple there and I'm brayering it around and wait, where'd the blue come from? Yep, you guessed it. It came off of the brayer. It activates, it reawakens that quickly. So that purple is acting as that first layer of color, like with the yellow. And then as I'm putting the stamp down, that purple is reactivating, waking up any of the alcohol ink that was already on there. Because I didn't put the purple over the entire gel press plate, 
That means my edges are going to look a little different than the middle, kind of like with the very first all blue print. There's a question that I know I'm going to get asked about this that is something that I don't do very often, and I'll share that question and answer with you when I finish taking this print. But now that I've got the pattern on there, it's now it's time to make sure that it's completely dry. And I check it by simply touching it. If I touch it and it's dry, then I can add some of that white paint on top of it. And this is a challenge for me to use a small amount of white paint because I instinctively like to put a lot of paint on there. So I have to really concentrate to get a small amount on there. But thankfully for you, I have done it today. That is a very small, very thin layer of paint that's on there. So what is this thing that I try to avoid that you probably want to know the answer to? and had to do with cleaning. I'm not a big fan of cleaning anything that I don't have to, but if you wanna clean your art foamy stamp, if you wanna get that alcohol ink off of there, all you need to do is spritz some rubbing alcohol on it. That will activate, wake up that alcohol ink, and then you just stamp it over and over again until the color comes out of it. Do you have to clean it? Nope, you don't have to. If cleaning it brings you joy, then absolutely do that. And if you want to leave it on there and let it ride and continue to play with it next time, then do that. You get to choose which way is best for you. Well, thanks so much for joining me for today's play. If you've enjoyed this video and you would like to know more ways to use a gel press plate, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll know as soon as gel press has a new video out. Thanks so much for letting me be a part of your colorful journey.